guarantee when, when you, and I'll be talking to a client one day, I guarantee whenever you're feeling upset, irritated, frustrated, annoyed, pissed off, angry, you know, fill in the blank, okay? And I think as an exercise, it, it, it could be helpful with a client to say, what are some of the emotional experiences you might have that would be you up here? I'm pissed off, I'm frustrated, I'm annoyed, you know, so-and-so really angered me, insulted me, whatever, all sorts of things, okay? The reality is, you're, if, you, if you're staying up here, you probably have a story about why you feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> i to figure out what the deal is with that. I can't believe you left me at the airport. I've been, I was waiting an hour and a half. Oh, 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 oh. Okay? There's some story in your mind about why you feel that way. And as long as your sights are trained on external reality as the cause of your emotions, if the thing is in the past, obviously it's not going to change. So your emotional experience isn't going to change. Right? Uh... You're stuck. You remain stuck. So the first part, and so what I teach my clients is steps to move yourself from up here to down here. Okay? I'm gonna, okay, I guess I'll start sort of cranking up the speed. Whatever. Um, so how? When I'm up here, how do I get myself down here? All right? And the very first step, there's five steps. The very first step is just recognize it. Oh, I know what's going on right now. In the zone? <laughs> I'm not giving permission. Uh, yeah. That's true too. But and it My does help to sort of to notice that. You cannot change anything of which you're unaware. Mm. Maybe by accident. But <laughs> primarily. So at first it's just, oh my god, I'm up here. I feel myself, I see myself acting this way, being this way. I'm upset, I'm yelling, yeah. I'm slamming doors or whatever. Okay? I see myself acting in a way that I know is not productive. I feel myself outside of my comfort zone. I'm worked up. I don't like the way I'm feeling right now. Oh, I'm not giving permission. That's it. This is about me. I'm not doing something I could be doing. I'm not giving permission. Wow, I'm the difference maker here. That's the key. This is the beautiful thing about this. It ain't about anybody else. It does not take anybody else's cooperation. I'm the difference maker in my life. Okay? Well, and being up here is powerless or that's how you feel. It's incapacitated. Yeah. Giving permission gives you a sense of... Allows you to reclaim <laughs> that power. I keep getting hung up on what I'm giving permission to. Like how it sounds almost? Like, yeah, like would, like in your head are you saying like, I give you permission to flick me off. <laughs> that right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah is I, that, I, is I, that everything. That. Okay, here's the reality. You are amazing at giving permission. You are. You're, you're basically a master at it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> As are you and you and you. Yeah. Everyone. All right? Yeah. We just take it for granted most of the time. So, like right now, we're just sitting here. Not thinking we're doing anything spectacular. But actually, we're giving permission to an infinite number of things to be exactly as they are right now. For me to have my legs crossed right now, for you to have your legs cross-legged, for there to be fluorescent lights in here, for all this stuff. <laughs> and literally infinite number of things throughout our day. So it's the, it's, we're not letting it get us up here. We just don't yeah. mind. We right. give permission. I give permission for the world to be round or spherical. <laughs> if it is, people say, you know. So infinite number of things. Every once in a rare, 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 rare while. The things that we personally have trouble giving permission for occur, and we go up here. Yeah. And for every single person, it's different. Right? There might be some commonality. Somebody runs in here with a gun loaded. Chances are most of us, if not all of us, will have some sort of emotional reaction. That's not okay. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> right? We can refuse to give permission. Right. But if we're capable of giving permission, which we are, all people are capable. You're capable of giving permission to everything. All right? Yeah. Then you will remain more calm and be able to attend to that situation better than if you panic. But it has a purpose um, biologically. It, for if, if fight and flight? Tiger is right. Yeah, right. Does it not? I would argue that it doesn't. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I would argue that it doesn't. Because there's, what is it? There's freeze, flight, or fight. Okay? Yeah. yeah. And maybe none of those three options are great options. Freeze, get shot. Fight, probably get shot. <laughs> Flee, where are you going to go? Probably get shot. Yeah. In the back. Right? 
that ultimately, while that is our instinct, you're right, and a lot of this is hardwired instinct. Exactly, mm -hmm. it a is. A lot of it is, right? It is. And so it's great if you have it, a way to, get, yeah, to counter that. Though. Right, exactly. Hardwired instinct to have this yeah. occur. And, and I, I do like to remind people that they will continue, all of us will continue to react, have emotional reactions for the rest of our life. So the goal is not to become immune to emotional reactions. I'm not, I don't expect anybody to become a Buddha. A Buddha actually is immune to emotional reaction in a light one. Okay. That is not the goal. Please. I would think that that would be pretty boring. Yeah. For everyone on planet Earth to be a Buddha. Yeah. Like a snoozer. All right? <laughs> Nobody needs therapy, so we'd all be out of a job. Yeah. Yeah. You know, let's like be fun. All right? So you will always have emotional reactions, okay? We're wired that way. Like you right. said, if a tiger jumps out at you. All right? But the question is, can I be more effective if I learn a way to manage that emotional reaction after it has occurred? Not to prevent it. That's not the goal. Mm -hmm. The goal is not to prevent emotional reactions. You will naturally have emotional reactions less and less often as you become better and better at unconsciously giving permission. The idea is when you have an emotional reaction, to know how to consciously give permission so that you can A, feel better, and B, be more effective towards creating the change you desire. Those are the two goals of giving permission. Okay. Feel better, become more effective. 